Welcome to our channel Advantage. Learning made easy. We will study Chapter 6 of Module 4 that is Balance of Payment Adjustments. So let us begin. This chapter is divided into three parts. 1. The multiplier concept in the case of open economy and closed economy. 2. Foreign repercussions. 3. Policy of BOP that is expenditure changing policy, expenditure switching policy and lastly the different types of policy mix. Introduction of Foreign Trade Multiplier The original idea of multiplier was given by RFCON which was known as the employment multiplier. The concept of multiplier shows to what extent a change in one thing brings about a change in another thing. The employment multiplier studies the effect of change in employment on changes in income. Algebraically, change in Y is equal to employment multiplier into change in employment. Lord J. M. Keynes following this theory gave the concept of investment multiplier which is used in the case of closed economy. Further, Mr. Leighton gave the concept of export multiplier which is used in the case of open economy. Income determination in a multiplier in a closed economy. In a closed economy, the total national income is computed as under. Total income equals total consumption plus total investment plus government expenditure. Since government does not strictly follow the rules of economics its role gets omitted. Therefore in a closed economy. Y equals C plus I. Further, income is either consumed or saved. Therefore, Y equals C plus S. From equations 1 and 2 we get I equals S. Change in investments would be equal to change in savings. Keynes multiplier depends upon the marginal propensity to consume MPC. K that is the multiplier is the function of MPC. MPC is equal to change in consumption upon change in income. MPC is always positive and MPC will never be equal to 1. Therefore, K being a function of MPC will always be greater than 1 and never be equal to infinity. MPS is equal to change in saving upon change in income. Based on economic theory of MPC and MPS. MPC plus MPS equals 1. And K is the reciprocal of MPS. Substituting equations 5 and 6 I in 7. We get change in consumption upon change in income plus change in savings upon change in income is equal to 1. Now we take take change in consumption upon change in income on the other side. Substituting equation 9 in equation 8. K is equal to 1 upon 1, change in consumption upon change in income. 1, change in consumption upon change in income is equal to change in savings upon change in income as per equation 9. Accordingly, K equals 1 upon change in savings upon change in income. Therefore K equals change in income upon change in savings. Expressing the formula in terms of change in income, we get change in income equals K into change in savings. Based on equation 3, change in investment is equal to change in savings. Therefore by substituting equation 3 in equation 10 we have the investment multiplier that is Change in income is equal to investment multiplier into change in investment. Similarly, foreign trade multiplier in an open economy is derived as under such that change in national income F equal to export multiplier multiplied by change in exports. Foreign repercussions. There are two countries taking part in foreign trade. One is the reporting country and the other is the foreign country. When exports of the reporting country rise, the imports of the foreign country also rise. As the exports of the reporting country rise, it leads to increase in export earnings. As the imports of the foreign country rise, it leads to fall in income. As the income falls, its imports also fall which will lead to fall in exports. This is called as foreign repercussion. Formula for computation of foreign trade multiplier is given as follows. External balance refers to achieving equilibrium in the balance of payment, BOP. 
Internal balance refers to achieving full employment with price stability in the country. The members of IMF face the twin problem of maintaining internal balance and external balance. Thus to attain both the internal and external balance, the use of monetary and fiscal policies are used simultaneously. These policies are categorized as Expenditure changing policy Expenditure switching policy Policy mix Expenditure changing policy involves use of monetary policy and fiscal policy. Monetary policy includes bank rate and open market operations. Bank rate is the minimum rate charged by central bank at which it advances loans to commercial banks. Open market operations means buying and selling of government securities. Fiscal policy includes taxation and public expenditure. Taxations means the rate of tax charged and collected by the government. Public expenditure means amount of public expenditure incurred by the government. Monetary policy is preferred for maintaining internal balance and Fiscal policy is preferred for maintaining external balance. Now we will discuss monetary policy in case of deficit. Government can use the bank rate or open market operations or both. In case of deficit import expenditure is more than export income. In order to correct the imbalance in the economy. Central bank increases its bank rate at which loans are given to the commercial bank. As a result, the market rate charged by the commercial bank to its customers increases. This leads to decrease in money supply in the economy. As the loan from commercial bank become costly, it discourages customers from taking loans at higher rate and thus reduces spending which ultimately corrects the deficit in the economy. Further, there is inflow of foreign capital due to increase in the bank rate. Simultaneously, the central bank can sell government securities in the open market. The buyers will issue check to the central bank. This will result in decrease in cash with the commercial banks since the central bank would encash such checks. As a result there is decrease in money supply. There is cash shortage with customers since funds are utilized in purchasing government security which reduces their spending. The decrease in expenditure leads to decrease in imports. Thus with the help of contractionary monetary policy the deficit in balance of payment is corrected. Exact reverse situation arises in the case of surplus wherein the expansionary monetary policy is used. Fiscal contractionary policy in case of deficit. For this purpose, government decreases its public expenditure or increases the tax rate which results in decrease in income and employment in the economy. Due to decrease in income and employment, the demand for goods and services is reduced which results in decrease in price level and decrease in imports. Further, the reduced price leads to increase in export and export earnings. Thus there is improvement in balance of payment position and deficit in the economy is corrected. Expenditure switching policy can be brought about by change in exchange rate or by direct control. For example, if the exchange rate is decreased that is $1 which was Rs 70 earlier is now Rs 80. That means the Indian currency has devalued. Now in such a the value of Indian domestic goods and services in the foreign market is reduced. This leads to increase in export of Indians goods. Further, the foreign goods become expensive therefore imports are reduced. Thus devaluation improves bought by correcting deficit. Direct controls are of two types. Commercial control that is use of tariffs and quotas to control import and exports. And financial controls that is export controls and multiple exchange rates. Mead's model. Mead has given his model of simultaneous achievement of internal and external balance with the help of simultaneous application of expenditure changing and expenditure switching policies. On the x-axis we have domestic absorption. On y-axis we have exchange rate. The IB curve shows internal balance which is downward sloping. The EB curve shows external balance which is upward sloping. E is the point of intersection of EB and EB curve. For ease of understanding we determine what depicts above and below of the EB and EB curve. Above the IB curve we have inflation and below the IB curve we have unemployment. Similarly, 
Above the EB curve we have surplus and below the EB curve we have deficit. Accordingly, the graph is divided into four zones. Solution for Meade's model is as follows. For inflation and unemployment we use a fiscal policy. For surplus and deficit we use appreciation or depreciation of currency exchange rate. Mundell's Model Robert A. Mundell opined that in order to achieve internal balance and external balance simultaneously, there is a need to apply monetary and fiscal policy simultaneously. On the x-axis we have fiscal policy. On y-axis we have monetary. The IB curve shows internal balance which is downward sloping. The EB curve shows external balance which is downward sloping. E is the point of intersection of IB and EB curve. For ease of understanding we determine what depicts above and below of the IB and EB curve. Above the IB curve we have inflation and below the IB curve we have unemployment. Similarly, above the EB curve we have deficit and below the EB curve we have surplus. Accordingly, the graph is divided into four zones. Solution for Mendel's model is as follows. For inflation and unemployment we use a fiscal policy. For surplus and deficit we use monetary policy. Mundell, Fleming model. Mundell and Fleming have given jointly their model in terms of as, LM and BP schedules. On x-axis we have national income. On y-axis we have rate of interest. IS is investment and savings schedule. LM is demand and supply of money schedule. BP is balance of payment schedule. E is the point of intersection of IS and LM curve. At point E, rate of interest is OR0 and national income is OY0. E lies above BP schedule. It shows economy is running at a BOP surplus position. Under such circumstances if the economy wants to achieve internal and external balance, then it has the following options. Diagram A shows appreciation of exchange rate such that BP curve shifts upwards and passes through equilibrium point E and intersects IS and LM curves. Thus, internal and external balance are achieved. Diagram B shows the central bank pursuing expansionary monetary policy by lowering down the rate of interest such that LM schedule shifts to the right and passes through IS and BP schedules. Thus at point E1. Again internal balance and external balance are achieved. Diagram C shows that the government adopts expansionary fiscal policy such that IS curve shifts to the right and passes through the point E1 where internal and external balance is achieved. Diagram D shows the role of both, monetary and fiscal policy when there is perfect capital mobility that is BP curve is a horizontal straight line parallel to x-axis. LM curve and IS curve shift to the right. LM1, IS1 and BP schedule intersect at point E1 where internal and external balance is achieved at higher level of national income that is OY1. Thank you for watching our video. Stay awaited for our next video and please subscribe to our channel Advantage.